A recent survey stated that 6 out of every 10 millennials ordered food using a third-party food delivery app. I went to the field to understand and analyze the societal trend. Seven, three, seven, right here. Is that one? Okay. Yeah. Thank okay, you. thank you so much. Thank Have a great day. Take, Take care. Skip the Dishes is second biggest and fastest growing food delivery app in North America. This is Nilesh working for Skip the Dishes and making food deliveries. Just started my shift and I got my first order. Okay, all right, so whenever we get an order, it's like our order march over here. So we have to do is like get started. And then whenever you're ready to try, so it says like you just have to slide it and it shows like where we have to go. So now uh, first order what I've got is the Marshall Pasta Meal, which is on Adlet Street. So what I'm gonna do is like directions. That's gonna show me uh, the Google directions. So it is time now to reach the restaurant and pick up the food. Keep it in the car and leave for delivery. Hi there, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm great. Here we go. That's lunch over here. And, and there it is, food delivered. But what happens after making a delivery? Nilesh explains. Whenever we deliver, it's like uh, you have to do is deliver one food order. So whenever your next order is ready, you just say get started. And then it's another pickup and another delivery pick up and delivery hey. Hi there. oh great here we go so put in and your lunch the job is not easy and has difficulties of its own but but it's really good uh, sometimes like you get really good orders you have got like you get some good tips around with that so for example i uh, yesterday i did skip the dishes for three and a half hours and I earned around like $71 and 48 cents something. Most of his time on the job, apart from driving, is spent looking for directions on phone. But that's not the only problem he come across every day. It's like on a daily basis, the only one problem I can say is like uh, the parking space. Sometimes like the restaurant doesn't have a parking space. And sometimes the customer doesn't have a parking space. towards my car. So this is the problem with the downtown. Now I have parked the car right away on the other street. So I have to wait for the signal. I have to walk down to my car. Even same with like picking up the order. He stated that restaurants have made mistakes on several occasions, wherein they forgot people's drinks or an appetizer, and in some cases, an entire meal. However, when we talked to Jody Marshall at Marshall's Pasta, she had something to say about these drivers. Three orders going at one time. So we said one for five. He said, yeah, we gave him the order and he left. And then two minutes later, I skipped it. Another driver came in to pick another order up. We go, okay, uh, what's your, what order are you? He goes one, four, five. Despite the problems, she would still continue to be a part of it. Why? One of the big reasons why we went on it is um, for exposure. Um, we've been in business for about 20 years now, but there's still people that haven't heard about Marshall's Pasta. So uh, it's really good exposure to get your business exposed out there. They see the name. Skip the Dishes has claimed that every restaurant that has joined them has increased their sales and profits by 10 to 25 percent. But when we asked Jody if she would have people come in and dine or serve through delivery, here's what she said. Well, there's a difference in profit margin in that question. And we make a lot more money if people come in and um, uh, eat, sit down and eat. We, you know, we welcome that. Um, it's more, we can get more orders out the door, obviously, with Skip the Dishes, but they take a percentage of our sales, so it's not as profitable. Yes, you heard it right. Food delivery apps take a cut. Skip the Dishes takes 20% revenue of every order from the restaurants. And in order to compensate for it, restaurants mark their prices higher on these apps. It's convenience. Right. People like convenience and they will pay a lot of money for it. Like our pasta sells for like, what, $7.90 or something? Or how much do we sell it for? Like a pasta and sauce is $7. And by the time all said it's done, it's $15 to have it delivered. By the time they pay their delivery fees and tip the driver. The third-party food delivery apps seem like a good option for restaurants. But the Colin test, Hill. So you don't lose any marks on the practical part of the test. Okay. So the week when we do after dinner drinks and tequila, that's... A professor who is teaching his students the techniques of bartending and serving 
is worried. Some aspects that does worry you. Technology coming into play now and, you know, everything's changing when it comes to, you know, advances in this and doing that. Okay, tidy up your bar, put things back where they go, and then always get yourself ready for the next drink. He explains how technology has a part to play in this and how it is acting as a catalyst to benefit these apps. The Airport Toronto one, there's actually one bartender and every seat has an iPad in front of it. Well, that used to be four bartenders looking after that space. If you have jokes with you, just don't be a slave to them. That's happening. He sees it as a declining opportunity for his students, but he also tells where these delivery apps are lagging behind. I see it that the one thing that they're not able to do with that is give the service. It's the service aspect of why people go out and enjoyment, have fun, a night out away from, you know, whatever's happening. Technology does affect his students, he says, but... I, I still think there's going to be a good amount of uh, hands-on practical, you know, out with a customer. The rum and coke with lime times two. Deloitte ranked Skip the Dishes number five on their Technology Fast 50 award winners list. And Skip the Dishes revealed about 11,000% revenue growth from 2013 to 2016 and it is expected to grow even more. No doubt the servers and bartenders see it as a threat to their job security, but there are some who are happy about it and no wonder they are the chefs. I think it's just more beneficial for um, independent business as a whole, right? It's going to be a healthier thing to drive that extra part of the business. It's just extra additional revenue. So I guess in, uh, in short, it basically just will be more job creation. Right, for those independent businesses, hopefully where students end up going some expenses. There are no statistics or facts that says because of these apps, the serving and bartending jobs have diminished. People love convenience and third-party food delivery apps such as Skip the Dishes sells on it. But on the ground, drivers like Nilesh and restaurants like Marshall's Pasta face problems that Skip the Dishes has not been able to address. For Financial News Network, I'm Harshivam Bhava.